Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to share with you guys how to make some delicious tamales de lote. In case you just want to how to make this super easy and delicious recipe, just stay tuned and I'll show you how. Alrighty guys, so let's get started with our ingredients. So for the recipe we're going to need 10 whole corns, 1 cup and a half of maseca for tamal, 1 cup of queso cotija, 8 tablespoons of butter at room temperature, queso Oaxaca, 4 Roma tomatoes, chile serrano, a half of a small white onion sliced, 2 garlic cloves, 1 tablespoon of baking powder, and salt. So these are ingredients, now let's get started. Alrighty guys, so first we're going to start by removing the husk from our corn. So we're just going to cut the ends and the tail, so cut about an inch and a half, just like that. We're going to get rid of the, the first husk and now we're just going to peel our corn. And the husk is what we're going to use um, to make our tamales. So when you pick your corn, make sure that they're nice and big. All right, so as you get to the end, we're not going to need this husk or the hair, so we're just going to clean them out. All right, so just clean out your corn. And you can use white corn or sweet corn like the one I'm using. Okay, so now we're just going to get rid of all this. So now we're just going to repeat the same process to all of our corn. All right, so once we remove the corn husk from our corn, now we're going to give everything a good rinse. And also make sure you give a good rinse to your corn husk. And I'm just going to use a cup and I'm just going to place it on top, just so like that it can hold its shape. All right, so now we are ready to make our filling. So we're going to start by removing the kernels from our corn. So just grab your knife and carefully get all the kernels. All right, so once we have our corn kernels, now we are ready to blend them. All right, so I'm going to be using my blender to blend my corn. So we're just going to throw all of our corn in there. This is the hardest part. All right, so once we have our corn, now we're just going to smash it. All right, so once it's nice and smashed, we're going to transfer into a large bowl. All right, so we're going to repeat the same process to the remaining corn, and this time we're going to add our butter as well. Alrighty, so add your butter and blend. Alrighty, so once we have our mixture, now we are ready to mix the remaining ingredients. Alright, so once we have our corn mixture, now we're going to make our masa. So we're going to add our masa and just mix it. Okay, we're going to add our queso cotija. We're also going to add our baking powder and salt. Now the salt is going to be, depending on you, um, the queso cotija, it, it already has a lot of salt, so you just wanna be careful. I added two teaspoons. So just now mix it all together. And now just mix, mix, mix. Alrighty, so just make sure that you mix it very well. And now you can try it for salt and see if it's good to your liking. For me, it's perfect. So now we are ready to make our tamales. All right, so now I'm going to grab my steamer pot and I'm going to add hot water. And this steamer pot is from Walmart. I'm just put the rack on top. Okay, so now we're ready to wrap our tamales. All right, so now we're going to grab a corn husk. Now my corn husks are in the smaller side, so I'm going to stack two of them. So just stack them like that. And of course, if yours are bigger, then you don't have to struggle or worry about this part. So now we're going to add about two spoons. Okay, now fold it, close it. Overlap it like that. And just as if you're making tamales. Fold the bottom up like that. And I'm just going to put it in your steamer pot. And now we're just going to repeat the same process until we're done making all of our tamales. All right guys, so once we have our tamales all nicely set on our steamer pot, we're going to grab some of the remaining husk 
and we're just going to pile them up on top. So make like a little casita. All right, so now we're just going to cover our steamer pot. And now we're going to set it on our stove, set it on medium heat, and we're going to let them cook for an hour and 10 minutes. All right, guys, so after an hour and 10 minutes, our tamales should be fully cooked. So just make sure that the masa, it's already nice and hard. So as you can see, that's it. So now we're just going to set them to the side and allow them to cool down for a little bit. Uh, meanwhile, we can make our queso con chile. All right, so we're just going to roast our four Roma tomatoes and our chile serrano. And depending on how spicy you want your salsa, then it depends on how many chile serranos you're going to use. Okay, so we're just going to fully roast them. So turn your tomatoes and chiles. All right, so once our tomatoes and chile serranos are fully roasted, we're going to transfer them into our blender cup. Okay, and now we're ready to make our salsa. All right, so we're also going to add our two garlic cloves and one third of a cup of water. And now we're just going to blend it all together until we have a smooth salsa. All right, so once we have our salsa, now we are ready to fry it. All right, so now we're going to grab a small frying pan. We're going to set it on medium heat and we're going to add a little bit of oil. So we're just going to wait for the oil to heat up. All right, so once the oil heats up, we're going to add our onion. And now we're going to fry our onion for a couple minutes. All right, so after a couple minutes, we're going to reduce the heat to low. Now we're going to add our salsa. Add a little bit of water to your blender. Okay, just mix it. So we're going to add salt. So that's going to be to taste. And now we're just going to bring our salsa to a simmer. All right, so once our salsa begins to simmer, try it for salt. For me, it's perfect. So now we're going to add our queso Oaxaca and just cut into small cubes. All right, so just allow your cheese to melt and once it melts, we are now ready to serve. All right, so once the cheese has melted, now we are ready to serve our delicious tamales de lote. Alrighty guys, and now for the fun part, dressing our tamales. Now you can serve your tamales with a side of beans or with chicken or your, uh, your favorite piece of meat. Uh, for me, I'm gonna keep it simple today. So we're just going to open our tamales and they're still a little hot, but I can't wait no more. So I'm just going to serve it like that. And of course you can take them out of the husk. They should be very easy to pull out. Okay. Just going to open them like that. I'm going to add some crema mexicana. I'm going to add my queso con chile. I'm going to add some more crema mexicana and queso cotija. Okay, and now we are ready to enjoy our delicious tamales de lote. Alrighty guys, and now for the best part, the taste test. Now let me tell you guys that this um, tamales, you know, they're so easy to make. The hardest part is just peeling the elotes. Um, but let me tell you that everybody gets to enjoy, you know, tamales elote, who doesn't like corn. Um, and look how per perfect they look. Look at that. And of course, you can make them sweet. I will leave um, the recipe in the description box if you guys wanna make them sweet and just enjoy it with a glass of milk. But for me, this is just my favorite way of enjoying un um, tamal de lote. 
So enjoy, give it a try. Mm-hmm. Mm. Seriously, super delicious. The chili in the queso just puts the whole lot in. Just puts the whole tamale in together. It's so delicious, so flavorful. Hope you give it a try and enjoy just as much as I do. Alrighty guys, and there you have it on how I make some delicious tamales de lote. I hope you guys started your watching this video and if you did, please don't forget to give me a big thumbs up, share it with your friends and family, and if you recreate this recipe, please don't forget to tag me in any of my social medias. And if you're new to my channel, please hit that subscribe button so you guys can be part of our family. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys on my next video. Bye.